Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us for our weekend weather update and our rain watch update for the next several days ahead. And we've got this enormous area of high pressure. This is it in the bright white shading covering a big part of the weather map. It's larger than Australia, it stretches up to the tropics and it goes well down into the sub-Antarctic area. So that's the reason why we've had that cooler airflow coming up and around the country. And over the next seven days that will cross over New Zealand and then slowly start to move out to the east. And that means we're going to transfer from the colder eastern side of the uh, high pressure zone to the warmer western side, which will come in at the end of next week. So let's kick off with the next 24 hours of animation showing uh, tonight, tomorrow, cloud and showers. It's not really showing you too much detail, really just those a few scrappy showers here moving into the east, a little bit into the north that moves through, and then you've got some cloud around. So it's just a little bit messy, really. And you see as we go into Saturday night, uh, you've got cloud returning here from the west. Temperatures, they are pretty much where they've been. Uh, the North Island, maybe a degree warmer at the top here. Dunedin, maybe a degree cooler uh, than you were for the day today. But basically, uh, temperatures are about where they should be for this time of the year. Here is Saturday's forecast. So we've got a windier, slightly more showery day. It's not overly wet, but you see a line of showers here. So that's kind of moving up in that southerly. And so that'll brush uh, places as it comes on. And there'll be a light dusting of snow along the mountains and ranges. And then that's really about it. It's not too dramatic. There's no severe weather that I can see coming out of this, but the winds will be quite strong, especially in those marine areas out to the west. And on Sunday, again, no real change. The blue line, cold air is south of that. And so the reason why we're seeing it drop is because as the high moves towards us, the airflow out of Australia itself is now curving around and coming up to us, whereas before it was a lot more about the Southern Ocean airflow coming up to us. So still the same system, but just slightly milder. Temperatures going up a degree or two here and there. And then into next week, that's when, uh, oddly, the temperatures start to drop again. And I say oddly, because that just might sound confusing to some of you why I just said that, but that is because the winds die out. And so clearer skies, lighter winds at this time of the year with the big long dark nights, it means that the temperatures will start to really drop uh, at nighttime in particular. The daytime ones won't be quite so bad. And so here on Tuesday, the high right over the top of us, that cold air sinks right down into the valleys. And so you end up with some big frosts around. And in fact, in some parts of the central lower part of the South Island, so you know, from northern Southland, central Otago, into the high country of Canterbury, some areas in there may have more than half the day around freezing or below. So that's pretty cold weather when you know, you've know got half of the day around that freezing point and then gradually it starts to warm up a bit later on. So as we go through the week, not a great deal of change, but a slight easterly flow at the north brings in a couple of showers there. And as it turns around, comes in here to the western side of the South Island. Thursday, the high starts to change shape and gets a little bit messier. That means we've got a few showers around here and there. It won't be very much though, but over here, westerly change coming through for Australia, and in between the two, this is a warm northerly airflow, and that takes us to Friday. The high is out here to the southeast, and so that cold airflow out here over the uh, east of the Chatham Islands, east of the International Dateline. Up to the north, subtropical airflow, that is uh, Fiji and there's Tonga. That airflow is coming down past New Zealand, and all the way down towards Antarctica. So Antarctica is going to have a significant warming up of weather by the end of next week with these northerly winds coming down. It's only sort of brushing the outer edges, but still temperature is going to be well above normal in Antarctica for a time. That doesn't affect New Zealand, uh, but it does show you that this is a big, long northerly flow coming down. And so that's the change from the big southerly that we've been getting over the last week. So here is the seven day rainfall. There's a lot of pale blue in this at the bottom part of the scale here. You won't be seeing a great deal of change, but a few showers coming in at the end of next week. Once that low, sorry, once that high moves out to the east, northerly winds, those subtropical winds encourage a bit more wet weather. And you've got that westerly coming out of Australia. So I'm saying even though the next seven days, very dry around most of the country, uh, we are potentially going to see some warmer, wetter weather about a week from now, or maybe just a little bit after that. So that's the latest for now. I will see you again on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend.